Hey guys, so we're back with another video. So in this video, I want to continue with our command handler. Um, because I don't want to, I was going to do an event handler video, but I don't want to do that just yet. I want to continue with the command handler. But basically, if you guys saw the last two videos, um, pretty much explain what a command handler is, what its main intention is for. But right now, uh, one thing that I would like to do is to set up aliases for our, our commands. Let's say, for example, if we have, you know, the add role command, let's say I want another alias to work for this command. Okay, so how do we do that? Okay, now there are multiple ways that you can do this. I've seen some tutorials of other people doing it, but I actually have never done this before, so I'm going to kind of like freestyle this. So hopefully uh, it doesn't like confuse you guys too much, but I'm always going to be splitting everything. But the idea is what we're going to do is for every module that exports, instead of attaching the run property, uh, well, we're also going to attach one more property, and that property is going to be uh, the alias property. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I could actually just do, oh, hold on, my mic is in the way all the time. I could actually just do module.exports, and then I can just do uh, aliases equals this array. But I'm going to do it like this instead. I'm going to go ahead and just cop copy this function. And I'm going to set module.exports to an object, and run is just going to be a key. And it's going to map to a, an asynchronous function. We're going to have another key. And this key is going to be aliases. So this is going to be an array of aliases. Okay, so we can do something like, um, well, this is the add role. So we can do something like role add, add r, or I don't know. There really aren't that many good aliases for a role. Anyways, but okay, so this shouldn't really affect our program too much. Um, and if you didn't watch my last video, I did a couple of things. And one thing that I should mention is that the code is finally on GitHub. I don't know why it took me so long to put the code on GitHub. But I guess I didn't want to put like the code on GitHub just yet. I'd rather just put everything all together. But you can see our code looks so much neater now. Like everything's just so much more beautiful compared to what we had before. And you can see that uh, it's more organized. I have a git ignore file. Uh, I will be writing instructions on the readme so you guys can actually see uh, how to actually properly set up this bot. Okay, so don't worry so much about it for now. But uh, anyways, we have this aliases property on this add role. We're going to do the same thing for delete role. So this is going to be the same thing that we have before. Aliases. I think, yeah, I, I don't, honestly, I don't even know. Uh, let's see. Role. Or rule delete. Okay, and okay. Um, and let's just leave this alone for now. Or we have a bunch of other uh, commands. Okay, and we'll do it for this as well. So run. And obviously, you don't have to call this property run. You can call it whatever you want. Okay. Uh, we're just going to leave this array empty because we don't really need aliases for mute. Uh, likewise, unmute. Run. This is nothing. Oh, why does that give me? Okay. Yeah, I must have forgotten a curly brace. Okay. And kick. We're gonna do the same thing for everything. So uh, I know this is pretty boring. So, but don't worry, we're almost done. Uh, kick, we can just leave it alone. Same thing with ban. But the idea is, what we're gonna do is we're going to map every single alias to uh, the module. Okay, and I'll show you exactly what I mean in just a sec. I'm I don't know how the other people did it in the other videos, but I'm sure they did it a different way. But uh, of course, everyone has their own implementations, so it's just really up to you on how you want to implement it. But I always like think I always like coming up with my own ideas, or even if I see someone else's idea, I always like to come up with 
uh, another idea that su supplements that idea. So for the fun command, this should really just be a roll dice command. I'm going to actually change this to roll. We're going to also change it to dice, roll dice. Okay, so that's good. Um, what's going on here? Why is it red? JS. Okay, that shouldn't affect anything. Okay, so uh, let's run our bot. Node mon source bot.js. Okay, so our bot's logged in. Okay, so right now we are we haven't registered our alias our aliases yet. Okay, so what we need to actually do is inside this commands function, uh, if I console log command module. You're gonna see that there's two different properties. So our functions are our commands are still gonna work. If I do what role, it's still gonna work, right? Again, remember all we've done so far was we just added another property. It doesn't affect anything else. Okay, before the only property that we had exported in uh, to the module that the only property that we attached to the module that exports was the run property. Okay, but we can still reference it by getting the module and calling run. The only difference now is that we have two different modules, two different properties, right? So over here, pretty much this exports an object that has properties. Okay, you kind of think of it like exporting like a JSON file, but it's, instead we are exporting a module. Okay, because that's what these are called. Now, you can see that we have the aliases property for every single module. Okay, but some aliases uh, some of the uh, aliases are, the array is empty, some have aliases. So the easiest thing to do from here is, what we can do is, we can go, we can iterate through the aliases, and we can take those names and then map it to the same module as the original command name. So I know that sounds a little bit confusing, but... Right now, right, you have to understand what the command handler does, how it sets its commands, right? And this line over here, let me zoom in a little bit. Remember, client.commands is a map, right? It's a JavaScript map, okay? And a map, all a map is, is it's just a data structure that has key value pairs, okay? So you can have a key, right? The key is always going to be distinct in a map. So you're not, you're never going to have uh, keys, you're never going to have two keys that are the same. Right? So you're going to have a key that maps to a value. In this case, what we're doing here on line 37 is we're mapping the name of the command to the, the module of that command. Okay, So for example, unmute is the name of our command name. So what we're doing is we're taking that command name, unmute, and we're setting that as the key. And the value that we're mapping that key to is the entire module over here, which is this run function. Okay. Now, what we want to do instead, right now, is since this function itself, it still has the module itself, uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to take the aliases and map those alias names to the same exact module that corresponds with the original command name. So, for example, uh, let's look at our um, let's look at our role command. Okay, so the role command is just the role command that's the uh that's the main name for it right it has two aliases is dice and roll dice so what we're going to do is we're going to reference this aliases property that's part of this object that we are exporting we're going to go through this array we're going to iterate through it and we're going to take every single property and we're going to take i'm sorry not property we're going to take every single alias name so each string we're going to take that we're going to set it as a key and that key is going to map to the same module that exports Okay, now this is actually um, uh, going to be a little bit uh, weird because you're, you're going to end up having dice mapping to aliases. Um, but it's only going to have to iterate once though, so so we'll be fine. Okay, but instead what I could do is instead of mapping it to the entire object, I can just map it to the function itself, right? Because right now the value is, um, is an object rather than just a function. I mean, a function is an object, but you guys get what I'm saying. It's a JSON, it's a JSON-like object, okay? So we're gonna modify this a little bit, and don't worry, I know it's really confusing, but hopefully you guys understand what I'm trying to do, and if not, um, just like rewatch the last three minutes of what I was saying, or just ask questions down below. Okay, so watch what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna say let aliases equal, or oh, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna destructure, this is equal command module okay 
So now, this is going to get us the aliases. Okay, you can see. And what we're going to do is we're just going to do this. We're going to say uh, if aliases.length is not equal to zero. So if the array is not empty, then we're just going to iterate through. Okay. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and well, first, let's do this first. Let's set the all right module first, and then we'll do then we'll go through the aliases. So we're going to say aliases. We're going to call the for each function. This is an array. This is a function that's part of the arrays proper uh, the arrays prototype. And all this does is it iterates through the entire array. Okay, it takes on a callback function. So we're going to say alias. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to say client dot commands dot set alias cmd module. Okay, notice how I am setting the value to the same thing up here on line 38 because that is because the alias is going to have the same module. It's going to it's going to run the same function. Okay, so now that should do the trick. And if we go ahead and let's console log client dot commands. Okay, so let's save that. And let's look at what happened. Now you can see that we have roll, dice, roll, dice, ban, add roll, roll, add, kick, del roll, delete roll, roll, delete, mute, unmute. So all of these aliases are kind of like registered as their own command. They're, it registers their own, uh, you know, individual. It's, it's almost as if we like had the actual alias itself. Uh, it's almost as if we actually had uh, another file created for these commands. And then we were mapping it to that uh, to that module, right? But the the nice thing about this is that we don't have to create a whole other uh, command just to do this. We can just specify the alias, map that alias to the same function, and then we're good to go. Okay, obviously, there are other things that you could do, such as you, you can just check to see if the message was uh, either one of these. But again, this is just uh, you know one of many different implementations. Okay, there are obviously a bunch out there. Okay, so now let's just try this out. If I want to run the uh, roll dice command, right? Roll dice. It's going to do the same thing. Dice, roll. It's going to do the same exact thing. Okay, which is which I think is actually pretty cool. Now, one issue that I do see, and this is more of a, uh, this is not really uh, going to cause any bugs in the long run, in my opinion. But one thing that I do uh, not like is the fact that the alias is also uh, have their own the aliases have their own alias as well see so for example uh, roll dice is an alias of roll but notice how that it has this property aliases which is kind of not what I really like so what I what, what I can do is because think about it right the alias itself should not have that property alias but what we can do instead of mapping the module itself we can actually just map the function run and we can do the same thing over here Okay, now the main difference of that is instead of instead of you know, mapping the key to an actual you know JavaScript object, we're mapping it to a function. Okay, but we're gonna have to change a couple things here because obviously if I try to, uh, you can see now that all these map to a function. But if I try to run it, it's not gonna work because it's gonna say something like uh, client that commands like get run is not a function. The reason why is because we map it to the run function. So we actually have to invoke that function now. So I'll show you what we have to do to fix that. We're going to go inside the message event over here. And so over here on line 20, we're just going to delete run because when we call dot get, that's going to get us the actual function itself. And we can just invoke that function with parentheses like that. Okay, so save that. Roll. Nice. Oh, dice. Uh, let's mute giveaway bot. Mute. Oh, this is on. Uh, I don't have a mute roll on this server. I'm, I'm on my other server. Uh, I delete the other server, but the mute roll, the mute command does work though. You can see mute mute roll not found because we don't have a muted roll. Um, what else? What are other things? Uh, what are my other commands? Kick and add roll so the add roll aliases are uh, roll add so let's do roll add 
Nothing's gonna happen, roll not found. So let's give myself the Twitter roll. There you go. There you go, it's that simple. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it when it comes to creating aliases for your commands. And uh, hopefully that was pretty straightforward. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.